Hi, my name is Brock Gagne. I am the Lane Systems intern this year. And for my project, I created a mock model of what the Lane system works like and how the tooling equipment works and how it works together. So I'm going to walk you through it real quick. Um, the first thing I want to start off with is the surveillance system. This system is intended to keep everybody on the road safe. It's intended to find any animals, wildfires, or any potential rollovers and accidents on the road and get emergency vehicles out there as quick as possible. So that system is intended just for safety and to keep the road uniquely protected as much as it can. The next thing is the tolling system that works off of license plates. This system works by a camera and loops in the road. So while your car is rolling forward, there is the first loop that indicates that the car is present. At that point, the system knows, okay, a car is present, start your timer, okay? Once the timer started and the car continues moving forward, your second loop is called your axle loop. Your axle loop counts the number of axles on your car and will actually total them up as your car proceeds and will be able to know how many, how many tolls to associate with that car. As your car continues to move forward, it's going to hit your third loop called your exit loop. From here, the system has been keeping a timer from entry to exit loop and can then calculate how fast your car is going. From there, the system knows, all right, we know how fast the car is going. We know which pictures this camera just took that are going to find the license plate. So your car is moving. As soon as it hits that entry loop, the front license plate camera is taken its pictures. As your car continues moving forward, a foot after your exit loop, the camera continues taking its pictures from the back and captures your back license plate. From there, three normal visual pictures are taken of the license plate, one IR picture is taken of the license plate, and then one large scale full screen picture like you'd see with your traditional camera is taken of that same license plate. The reason for the IR is to make sure that this camera fully got the right license plate and is able to see it without the glare of the sun. Okay, And with that, down here you have your lane controller, which is actually making that whole process work and is actually the branch to this whole operation. That's kind of a background on your lane with respect to the license plate tolling. Now as far as your express toll, you have an antenna so the antenna uses your RFID tag that you have in the front of your windshield and when your car approaches the lane, even before it even gets to the loops, even before you would enter that area, it has already captured the number and the tracer to your RFID tag and it proceeds to take that information from there and it takes it to the reader, which is down here, and that processes the information and sends it back to the headquarters where it can send the toll digitally and through the, through the network to you so you can then get your tolls. So with this, all of these systems are working together. So you both have your antenna system with your RFID tag and your license plate system working both at the same time. But if you have your RFID tag, you don't need the license plates. So it will instantaneously delete that once it's already found that you have used an RFID tag, making your tolls a lot less expensive as a result. And that is a walkthrough of how your tolling works at E470.